What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. So today marks day one of my Master in the Month challenge number five. So we had just finished my fourth challenge where I took on learning to code and create a mobile game. And so I thought for this challenge again, I'll swap it over and I'll try another physical challenge. So this challenge I've been wanting again, like all the other ones, been wanting to do for a long time and more so for the reason of it being a weakness of mine. So pretty much for my whole physical life, I have always struggled with pull-ups. My back muscles, my shoulder muscles, never really the strongest muscles of the family and was just always lagging behind and I just always struggled. And so I thought this challenge, now that my rehab has been going good for my shoulders and my back, it's now time to start strengthening those muscles up again and starting to actually get these workouts proper and get these muscles strong. So, for my Master in the Month challenge number five, I am taking on pull-ups. My goal is to be able to do 20 pull-ups in a row as well as one muscle-up. So you might think, yeah, 20 pull-ups in a go, most people can do that. I am absolutely horrendous at it. I think last time I tried, my max was three. So when I was trying to look for an adequate amount to be able to call myself a master at pull-ups and muscle-ups, I was trying to find and figure out, you know, what is a good number, but I thought going off my basis and my history and where I'm at right now, my foundation, 20 pull-ups and a muscle-up is what I want to achieve. If I can achieve that in myself, I am a master because the most I've ever been able to do in my peak physical form, which I was 15 years old, I think it was 11. From then, I have never been able to do anything close to that. So 20 pull-ups and a muscle-up, that's my goal. So my training regime for this challenge is, unfortunately because gyms are still closed and public playgrounds are still closed, I have had to improvise and thankfully I have a door so therefore I have got a gym. So I'll be pretty much using that the whole time as well as trying to find something to rig up a, a lower bar so I'm able to do Australian pull-ups just so when I fatigue on the actual pull-ups I've got something more at my level currently to be able to work and progress from. So I'll be doing my usual workouts for my whole body, but now more focusing on my back. So again, just doing the pull-ups and the Australian pull-ups and just doing all different variations of it. So I'll be doing jump up pull-ups, I'll be doing jump up chin-ups, I'll be doing ISO pull-ups, ISO chin-ups, holds, Australian pull-ups, holds, just basically everything around that. So I'll jump inside, I'll show you guys basically where I'm at currently and before starting this challenge. And I'll also take a before picture as well, just so you guys can see if there is any change in my body composition after the 30 days. So that's pretty much it from me. I'll catch you guys on day 15 at my midway point. If you wanna follow along and see my workouts and everything, I will post it up on my Instagram, jml.fit. Go check that out, follow along. If you're trying this challenge, let me know and we can do it together and we can see who gets the most. So, we'll jump in, we'll see where I'm at, and I'll catch you on the next time. Bye.